hi everyone and welcome back so in this video what we are going to talk about is express cli generator this is one of the tool which will help you to create a simple scaffolding for your express application because going forward, forward we are going to use the express framework only to write the uh, rest apis so what we can do is npx ex express generator first of all you need uh, either do it with npx or install this something like this npm install minus the express generator and express uh, your package name so express if you wanted to use a particular view engine like pug and ezs then you can use it and then your application name so this is a simple and uh, quick i um, mean the best way to create a simple hello world kind of express application where you will get all the different routes created uh, different basic views created in the pug or ezs based on what view engine you have specified here and it will just create a simple scaffolding for you okay it looks something like this it will give you the routes the views and uh, basic app.js file with all the middlewares added okay and it will have the basic routing so same thing we have done we have created a simple express application so you just need to follow the basic steps i can also repeat again these two things you can simply do npm install minus the express generator and then express uh, an engine name and your application you can skip this you can just set express and application name and you will get this folder structure don't get confused with lot of code which is already written it's just a simple scaffolding we have created so once you install express these all different modules you will get so i will just add and get ignore file here and then we can run not modules npm install we can run so we already talked about how npm works npm is a node package manager it contains all the nodejs yes, server side and client side libraries and you can install them using npm install if you have the package.json or if you wanted to add a new package then you can do npm install minus minus save package name okay so here i already have a package.json so i can do npm install this will give me uh, all the modules installed in the node module folder and this is my app.js so here uh, we might be creating server in bin folder here http.create server and in the package.json you can see the script npm run start right so when i do npm run start what it will do is it is actually executing this www folder i mean you can also start the server at the same place in app.js but we created another file and here it is starting the server on 8000 port because we are not passing anything in the environment app.set port and here it is creating the server server dot listening to this port so what we are doing is whatever the express app we have created we are passing that in the create server so here we are using the native http server only http.create server we are passing the express instance this is also a way of creating the server otherwise what you can do is you can you got the app you can just simply say app.listen to a particular port listen to a particular port this also will start a server on 3000 port but here we are using the http server and we are passing the express instance we are setting up the port and whenever the error occurred then own error will be triggered so server is listening to this port on listening you can just try to console.log here started on listening on port and port you can specify like for now it's just fine right started on listening on port so it means your server is started on port 8000 if your port is already occupied something like this if i try to run this again right then you can see this we are getting this message ex is uh, node is already in use right this particular message and this process is getting exited because this 8000 port is already occupied and if you don't have any access then this particular 
uh, line will execute and this will execute the process. So this is like a graceful shutdown we are doing whenever we are not getting the port, we are, whenever we are not getting the required access. So our Node.js process is already running. We don't need to be worried about this. But these are handlers we can add on error. What all kind of error we can get. Okay, these are just two events we have added. Like on server sometimes unhandled error occurred. Then we have to handle that and gracefully we have to do process.exit server.onListening we are calling this method right so this is like same as event emitter on server whenever the error occurred then we are handling it on server whenever the listening event occur so you can say this is an incoming message incoming listener okay so now in the code we can just see these are just a basic express app so we have already seen this code require express, getting the express instance and then uh, exporting the router. So doing basic things with the express like earlier what we were doing is const app equal to express and then we were doing app.get app.get forward slash and then there was a callback function with the request and response and here we were sending response dot status 200 dot json something and this was we were doing right but what if we wanted to do the same routes at multiple places like right? user routes application routes profile routes all these routes right so Express is providing the best way of doing it with the help of router. You can create a router. So this is index.js. Similarly, you can have another router file created somewhere where you can define the another routes. So this is HTTP get, HTTP get users, HTTP get users details. Okay, now if you just try to do curl, then you will be able to just see all these things. In the details, what it is doing is it is rendering the index dot EGS some template should be there in the views folder you can see I am using JAD templating engine so it is rendering this so don't worry about this it is called server side rendering and here we are not writing the pure REST APIs from the APIs we are returning some templates right so if you see the app.js here in the routes we are exposing we are just rendering so there are different things you can do response.json response dot send if you just having just the plain text or response dot render we can also redirect response dot redirect these are the different methods so to render a, a template you have to do the response dot render if you wanted to send a json message you can use response dot json if you want to send a plain text we can use response.send, response.render and redirect is if you wanted to redirect to some other route. Okay, plain and simple. Here we are rendering these templating engines. Instead of that, you can just simply say if you wanted to use it for the REST APIs, response.status like 200 and you can see the JSON. some data you are getting from somewhere right like some json array or some json object here you can put some anything and here i'm just sending it back okay something like this right so this is the rest api similarly you can also create http post instead of get you can say post user then you will do something like this Okay, so this is a basic express app with how to create a dif different routes. We are not writing any controllers and services to get the data. We are just talking at, about the first layer which is express routes. So in coming videos, we will talk about these three different terms. Express routes. Okay. Express server side rendering, which is like we are rendering the template in the same example. Then express controllers. And express services is nothing but we need someone to talk to database so we will put that in the services 
routes will talk to the controller so we try to create mvc kind of structure model view controller with our express application